Hey all, welcome to my video. Today we will model this together. Let's attack. First we create a part. And in front plane I create a sketch as I always do. Here I pick a line and first I create my construction geometries. After we are done with that, we can start to give some dimensions here. Here I do have a 25, here I do have a 45. If you want to give diametrial dim dimensions, you should have a center line, don't forget it. And also I had here a problem with my alignment, it wasn't vertical. Now as you see it is fully defined. Then here I play in place a spline. Here I do have a parallel relationship. Here I do have 100 uh, tangency value. Here I do have 25 and 112 tangency value. I found this a little bit less. Maybe I can a little bit make more. Yes, this is looking definitely better. Now we go revolve, surface revolve. This is an axis blind active and we make 180 degrees revolve. On the front plane again I'm creating a sketch then I'm going to place here a line what is good that we have one more line where we can give our angular relationship angle value I have here 70 and from this point to point 5 if you click OK you go split line and we break our surface and we delete in all the videos I made in a different way people asking me we can go also trim and select standard trim tool and remove remove selections this will also work I'm really old and hardcore user that's why I have very old habits still continues here I do have to arc and then I do have here a tangency how we make tangency control is pressed one object selected and other selected and tangency here we have same operation control pressed to object and tangency then later we will give our radius value here we do have a 20 after this operation I'm going to create a fill surface two objects selected and tangent active this is sketch maybe we will not be able to create a tangency yes we are not able to create a tangency then what I'm doing simply creating a surface there and then now going to make again operation uh, tangency now you can apply all edges but tangency you see here goes a little bit very sharp and I will convert to curvature which will give me much more smooth uh, curve uh, along the surface and after this operation I can definitely hide the old one and I can make mirror front plane active we go mirror body is selected here that surface is active but we can do by ourselves because we cannot create from there a, a closed uh, uh, body how you say uh, I did create my bottom part it's surface active everything selected create solid and then I do say okay now I do have a solid body if you change your display state you see you will have this model then next step is giving here a radius little uh, fillet and then I will create the shaft here I do have a central line and then I place there a circle 
it should be 17 the diameter and I do select my sketch means that the sketch is done extrude let's make it 150 now merge result we can select here plastic for upper part and metal chrome here we go yes and yeah it's looking quite nice and from top plane we are going to create a reference geometry 120 I'm going up there and then I look normal too now in this plane I'm going to create a sketch and first I will create my slots which is 25 by 1.5 and then another one one here one at the center one at the end this three will be equal oh I couldn't select them equal yes now equal and they are equal with this also yes now we will give this value which will be nine in this case after this operation we go close our sketch and extrude cut we should select contours because there is many object which is uh, on top of each other colliding I mean select everything it's looking fine offset from surface will be active this is the surface reverse of offset translate surface because we have at the both side translation through a surface that will be translated on the side and 0 0.5 will be the depth that we are going to cut our object yes now I can give here a different color first I do like to have in fact a quickly finished models I can't wait to see at the end how it will look like now we've made it this and we can go next step again normal to yeah in this direction normal to now we go create numbers simply we create here a line a line again this height is one this height is four or five yeah five is better maybe first I will create one select my line one is here use document font and then Arial bold will be active and five. As you see, it is not on the, the center because it takes the, the, the it finds center from this point to point instead of this one. Then what we do a bit moving this part 2.75 for example. Yeah, you see it is definitely easier now. The rest is not same will be simpler here just in the middle two line I will show one I will do the rest and then we will continue I mean I will stop video for a while equal this will be for construction collinear selected two use document for font aerial bold 5 here also there is a little bit uh, in fact misalignment then we are going to remove play a little bit with the line yes it is looking fine how I do see that 
uh, dimensions three. Yes. Now I do stop and I complete, and then we finish our video after. Yes, I did finish my operation. Uh, maybe you have noticed in the beginning it was too there. I'm not here really having good relationship with cars. Uh, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, and R. Here I placed, and you see I, they're a little bit unsymmetrical in order to have some uh, really symmetry with the number and the slot. And you can, of course, change it. And maybe it's good that I'm a little bit removing this appearance, and then you can have a look again on the sketch. That what was my dimensions there? Three to five length. Length was five, and they're unsymmetrical in the center. And after this operation, we will go make last cut, which will be extrude cut. Offset from surface, reverse offset, translate surface. This will be the surface that we cut, and then we complete it. Yeah, and this ends our video. And it is looking very really nice. It's a simple thing with surfaces. I hope you like my video. If you like it, hit the like button. If you do search something's really challenging, go visit my channel. See you in another video.